Okay, hello there. It is the morning of day four, just shortly after 7 a.m. And I am just going to keep this succinct. I don't have mass editing capacity here, um, and nor do I have the time to really learn. So I'll try and keep this brief. Um, you can see the skin is peeling and new fresh skin is, is uh, underneath, which looks fantastic. Um, and this is the process. So it is intense. Uh, if you do have a significant other, I would suggest warning them as to what you're up to because, you know, it's, it's messy. And um, the results at the end are fantastic, but it's very involved. So a TCA peel is not one that I would recommend to do as a DIY at home treatment. You want to go to a professional um, to do this. There are a lot of treatments that you can do in the privacy of your own home um, that are less involved um, and great and I'll recommend them at a later date. TCA peel is not one that I would recommend to do at home. Um, and if you want to know why, just ask me in the comments and I'll, I'll kind of run you through why I don't recommend it as an at-home treatment um, for a lay person. So um, one thing that I do want to, to preface this with, with is that, you know, a lot of uh, skincare people on uh, social media are doing treatments themselves. And there are a lot of treatments you can do yourself um, that are safe and, and great, but there are treatments that you do not want to do at home, um, that you really don't want to mess with um, unless you're a clinician and even then you want to do it in a clinical setting. So um, I've been in the medical aesthetics industry on and off for decades, longer than I really care to mention because look at this. I've got new skin. I'm a brand new person, but really I do have a depth of experience. And so when you see people on YouTube and other social media platforms kind of haphazardly doing, doing their own treatments, the reason why it sort of irks professionals and is because they, they're fearful for you. Um, the majority of people that enter the space of medical aesthetics are people that have um, a great compassion for others. And so they are cautioning you against doing certain treatments because they have been there, done that, seen it all. The good, the bad, and the ugly of the beauty business. And, and so when they recommend that you stay away, I am vehemently opposed, I can't stress this enough and I'll say it a million times, do not do your own injectable treatments. I've seen this on the internet, people doing their own fillers and Botox and people, I am terrified for you. Absolutely, utterly terrified. Do not do it. Just don't. If you want to know my reasons why, I have seen a lot and I will explain that to you in depth, but just please don't do that. This chemical peel is, is another that I would caution you against doing at home, um, which is why I didn't film my treatment. I just I'm filming the after process. So you can see close up on the new skin. It's coming along nicely. We've still got a long way to go. We're only at day four. I've got company coming, so they're going to be seeing me in a state. And I've got errands to run. And so um, I'm a little more reticent to go to the grocery store than for some reason I am to slap this up on YouTube. But here we go. I am not trying to be an influencer or, you know, win a popularity contest or, you know, be famous on YouTube. I just have a depth of experience and at this stage in my life, I want to share my experience with you. I want to give back to the skincare community. This is something that I have an absolute passion for and so I hope this helps you out. If you have any questions, you can feel free to uh, ask me below. And I am a recruiter for the medical aesthetics industry. So if you're a nurse injector or an esthetician uh, practice manager who is interested in finding a new position, um, just 
shout it out below and uh, and I will send you um, the information on how to submit your resume. Um, we do recruit for Canada and the US so there's lots of positions available and um, we tend to take only experienced clinicians um, those with two plus years in the industry. So um, but if you're new to if you're a medical professional and you're looking to get into the space also just touch base with me and I can sort of steer you in the right direction as far as trainings and uh, positions available. Thank you so much and stay tuned for more. Have a great day.